Uh, it's this big weekend, ladies and gentlemen. The heel of Stabowers is back, and it is WrestleMania weekend. Finally, I just got back from walking at the Botan Botan Botanical Gardens here, so I am tired as heck. So after this, I'm gonna freaking go to bed and probably take a little nap. But uh, just want to talk about WrestleMania weekend. It is stacked, ladies and gentlemen. It starts tonight with Monday Night Raw, the Go Home Show. We got Cody Rhodes against Solo Sokoa. We have um, Brock Lesnar almost coming face to face for a freaking weigh in. All right. We also have Miz TV with Becky Lynch, Lita, and Trish Stratus. So I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be great. Very looking forward to Raw tonight. And uh, that's going to be fun. Tomorrow, NXT. NXT. Um, let me actually see what NXT has tomorrow. Oh, NXT is also taped. So I don't. All I got to know is NXT. Um, let me show you what NXT has. NXT, NXT, NXT. Sorry about that, guys. Let me get this right here. I am so tired right now. All right, here's NXT. What do we got tomorrow? What do we got tomorrow? Let's take a look. NXT tomorrow. We got um <clears throat> oh a last chance thing for um to get into the um the um the women's ladder match. So um Indy Hartwell, uh, Soul Ruka and uh, can Indy Hartwell. I'm freaking out. I think yeah, Indy Hartwell, Soul Ruka. And uh, I don't know who the last person is, but um, yeah, it's gonna be a very fun match. Uh, but we also have Battle Royal to determine who's gonna be the final participant in the the um in the Fatal Five Way for the North American Championship against Dragon Lee, Wesley, Ilya Dragunov, and Jordan Devlin. So that should be fun as well. Um, yeah, so that right there is um NXT AEW. I mean, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be watching them this week. No offense to AEW. Like um, not really gonna be paying attention to them this week. Um, might just watch highlights and stuff like that for what they do. Um, yeah, it should be good. Um, we have, a uh, SmackDown on Friday. We got, uh, Cody Rhodes and Roman coming face-to-face. -face. So that should be good. They're probably coming face-to-face -to -face tonight, so that should be pretty fun as well. Um, yeah, again, like I said, AEW's this week. Um, I don't know what they're doing, honestly. Like I said, I've just been kind of loop with all the wrestling, so there it is. Um, for those who watch Impact, that's on Thursday, so there you go. SmackDown Friday, like I said, Cody Rhodes against, uh, Cody Rhodes is gonna go face-to-face -face with Roman Reigns, all that kind of good stuff, looking forward to that. The Hall of Fame is on Friday as well, we got Rey Mysterio, um, Rey Mysterio is the headline, we have many other people going in, Stacey Keebler has just been announced to go into the Hall of Fame, so that is awesome, well-deserved in my opinion, the Great Muda, and, um, the other guy who I cannot remember the name of, so, um, I think he's a referee, he feed with Jerry Lawler, so, um, that's pretty cool, um, so that's awesome right there. NXT stand deliver, of course, on Saturday. Also, night one of WrestleMania on Saturday. Can't wait. Night two, of course, night two is the next night. Looking forward to that. And, of course, the Raw after WrestleMania. That's awesome as well. Always love the Raw after WrestleMania. Very looking forward to it. Um, really looking forward to it, my bad. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We are stat this week. The Loser's Lunch podcast is up. If you guys want to freaking check it out. Um, it's already up on Christian Miracle's channel. We taught WrestleMania. We taught stand deliver. We taught the Hall of Fame. All that good stuff. Go check it out. Um, five hours of podcast, and we did it two days in a row, so that was pretty fun. And uh, go check it out if you haven't already. Um, I'm be recording live reactions, of course, for WrestleMania both nights. Stand deliver. I'm still just still wondering if I should do that. Um, I might, I might. Just if I don't, I'm gonna get some highlights for you guys. Just uh, go try something for you guys. Don't worry. Um, re re uh, predictions for shows. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna do. Them. I'm gonna do them this week. You'll f you'll find out when I get to do those. Uh, but it will be this week, duh, of course. Um, so I'm going to be doing live reaction, that kind of stuff. Predictions, all that kind of for Stand Deliver, WrestleMania, all that good stuff. It's happening. So that's it. That is a humongous week. I always love this time of year of professional wrestling. It's just a great time for the wrestling fans to come together, have some fun, and just chill out and just enjoy the wrestling at the end of the day. Um, we also have, well, well, there's also news about, you know, apparently there's going to be a new championship design. You know, Triple H and WWE apparently approved it. There's going to be a new design apparently revealed after WrestleMania. So, um, people are saying, like, oh, it's the Winged Eagle Belt. Oh, it's the Undisputed Championship. It's the big gold. Honestly, my opinion about that, I'm going to keep this short and sweet and to the point. Championships from back then, honestly, don't need to be brought back. In my opinion, they're only brought back for nostalgia. That's pretty much it. We don't need to go into the past. If this is a new era that Triple H wants to bring in, he needs to introduce a new championship belt. Not a freaking redesign. Not a freaking up. Not a freaking downgrade. Not a freaking, you know, championship from the past. We don't need the, the Winged Eagle. We don't need the WWE. We don't need the... Much I do let the World Heavyweight Championship. We don't need the World Heavyweight Championship. We don't need, you know, the Undisputed Championship. We need new championships. Like, we don't need to go back into the past. That's why, that's my stance on it. I just don't 
I think we should go back to the past. We need to focus on the now. It's a new era, time for a new belt. And honestly, I think that belt is going to be represented for the new Universal Championship. I think that's going to be the new belt, not the WWE Championship. I think the WWE Championship is going to be remain the same, keep it the same. And plus, you don't want to change the WWE title up, pretty much, because that's their big thing. That they, For more things about that, they do the logos and stuff like that, so keep it as it is. Leave it alone. Don't freaking change it. Just, well, the Universal Championship can be changed. That's fine. Just don't change the WWE Championship. And if you do, they're probably going to just like do, do like not that much with it, honestly. And it just says a new championship belt. It didn't say anything about, you know, like, like what title it would be for it. It just said a new championship belt. So I don't know what they're going to do. If they do bring in an old school belt, I'll just kind of be like, all right, just, I don't understand just to listen to the fans, but understandable why, you know, they probably would do that. But I don't think they need to do that. They just focus on the now. Don't go back into reaching into the past. I think you just need to keep the championship design the way it is. The Universal Championship could use an upgrade immediately. Just redesign that belt. Have that belt, you know, go to SmackDown kind of stuff. You know, have the new champ be crowned at, um, in Saudi for King of the Ring. And we'll see where we go from there. That's just why I think about the championship title apparently coming in. So it's a new design for... It just says right here, right? Triple H has a pro, approved the new design. The new design for a new world championship, which will... If WWE wanted, could theoretically debut for TV tomorrow by Russell Votes and give me sport, blah, blah, all kind of stuff. So it's apparently going to be revealed after WrestleMania. So looking forward to wherever it's going to be. I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued to what it's going to be. But that's all I got to say, honestly. I am tired. Tonight's going to be a fun night. Looking forward to it. The go-home show for WrestleMania. It's going to be a big week. It's going to be awesome. Get your popcorn and freaking drinks, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready for a hell of a ride. It's going to be great. WrestleMania weekend. I freaking love this time of year. And that's all I got. I'm going to get me some rest. I will see you all tonight for Monday Night Raw. If you enjoyed this video, I really hope you did. Too sweet, like button down below. Subscribe to this little one. Follow us Twitter, Hill Balor, Instagram, Hill Balor, YT. And I will see you all on the next one. Too sweet. Peace out. And let's start this WrestleMania weekend. Woo!